Monarch butterflies are making their transformation from a caterpillar this time of year. Channel 3's Melissa Cooney joins us live from the WCAX Orchard with how efforts to keep track of them are going in our region. Good morning, Alyssa. I joined the Vermont Center for Eco Studies in Woodstock on a search for monarch butterflies, part of something called the Monarch Mission. I'll take a look and show you what we found. We're going to look for uh, milkweed stems. In Woodstock, it's a beautiful day to search for monarchs. These are the ones that are going to fly to Mexico. So we want to get this snapshot right now of like, hey, are they doing poorly this year? Are they doing you know, average, or are they, is this going to be a real, real great year for them? We tagged along with conservation biologist Kent McFarland and the center's interns as they inspected 100 milkweed plants to count how many caterpillars, eggs, and adults were present. Monarchs are endangered right now, and McFarland says the jury is still out on how the ones in Vermont have been impacted by such a rainy summer. The days on end of rain could be a problem in the, in the prime of productivity, and it's because they can't feed as much, it's colder, they're trying to hide more, they can get diseased more. But the data Vermonters can include in Mission Monarch doesn't stop because it's been a sopping wet summer. The day we joined in on the fun, I found a caterpillar on a milkweed plant. You lucky caterpillar. Monarch monitoring happens all over the world. McFarland says a group in Mexico that did a midwinter survey found last year's monarch count was down about 20% from the previous year, which he says usually indicates how our population will compare. Any day we're going to start seeing migrants taking off. We didn't see any adults the day we are searching, just the one caterpillar. Paul Smith's Visitor Interpreter Center in New York's North Country has a 30-year-old butterfly house that keeps an eye on monarchs too. Like McFarland's experience, VIC coordinator Martha Vandervoort says they're seeing a similar story. Typically we would have had a whole lot more adult monarchs in the last couple of weeks and we haven't we're just we've just got this population of caterpillars that we're we're taking care of now Vandervoort says visitors can test similar observations last year the VIC tagged over 300 monarchs as we tag them it's really cool you can just see them they immediately start flying south and they this is what's referred to as directional flight and this year she says they haven't started tagging yet because the population is still in their cocoons or caterpillars and you can participate in mission monarch from your own backyard too if you have a milkweed plant to see what's on it whether that's an egg a caterpillar or an adult live in our wcx orchard melissa cooney channel for this morning